You two have I just have a, a coffee and steamed milk. Okay, we always show you the fun parts, but there are definitely stressful parts, right? Like flying in from one country to Canada when you're American. You've got to clear customs, and then you have to have your bags taken and put on the next flight, but it's in another terminal. Meanwhile, the transit desk or whatever where you pick up your bags is closed. And uh, you just take your best guess, and you have 20 minutes to make your next flight. We're just gonna make it. Does alcohol and axe throwing mix? Always. Fine. We'll find out in a moment because we're going axe throwing. So Here's to drinking alcohol and throwing sharp objects. because they want my beer to go into your beer and your beer to come in my beer so I don't poison you. So uh, I'll help being poisoned. Really? So when you cheer, it splashes all the liquor around and then you know that nobody's poisoning you. Well, I'm pretty bitter about the loss. I lost by one point and I was leading by like 25 points or something. And what are you gonna do? It's really important not to insult your guests. In 1917, during World War I, a ship arrived in Halifax Harbor bound for France, filled to the brim with explosives. So packed to the brim with TNT, the explosive picric acid, highly flammable fuel benzol, and gun cotton, that the crew wore cotton socks over their shoes so not to even create a spark. 
A Norwegian vessel was leaving this harbor when they collided. The barrels of benzol broke open and flooded into the hold, igniting a fire. Knowing a huge explosion was imminent, they abandoned ship. The Mont Blanc drifted as it burned till it crunched against a dock at Richmond Street and detonated. The famous Halifax explosion was the most devastating explosion until the atomic bomb. 2,000 people were killed, 9,000 injured, every building within 1.6 miles obliterated or severely damaged. And then, with all the carnage and deaths, a blizzard isolated Halifax from help. Boston, Massachusetts received the plea for help from telegraph operators. The governor offered Halifax unlimited help. Boston had been stockpiling medical supplies should World War I ever reach their city. They quickly put all of it on a train with food, water, and doctors. It got through the blizzard and help arrived in Halifax. Every year as a thank you to Boston, Nova Scotia picks a beautiful 60-foot tree, trucks it across Nova Scotia by the Bay of Fundy through New Brunswick, Maine, and New Hampshire to Boston, where it becomes the official city Christmas tree on Boston Common. It even has its own Twitter account and Facebook page. Massachusetts' help for Halifax didn't end with that one train. It continued for the next 10 years, all the way until 1927. See this church right here? Yeah. So the second window in mm -hmm. is the image of the deacon who was standing in front of the window at the time of the Halifax explosion. The heat from the Halifax explosion etched the image of his face in the window. And that image is still there today. Get him for the ride, feel the thrill, feel the high. Get him for the ride of the light. I feel electrified. It was a good meal. Now we're uh, going for... Ice cream. without a visit to a primo donut shop. And that's why we're here at Vandal Donuts. So 
What do you got? Maple bacon, uh, Fruity Loops. Is that called the Fruity Loops? Yeah, and that is the Homer. Yeah, that looks good. So these are the Trump donuts. <laughs> so these ones were created for the gay pride parade. Okay. And this was the original Trump. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, they got the hair exactly right. I said they were a special order for a U.S. donut blogger. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're brave. They're actually fluffy and, and good. Yeah, highly recommend Vandal Donuts. Wait, wait, you're about to eat the teeth? Don't you think you should talk to Dr. Heather the first? The teeth are a gummy worm. Oh. They are. It's a gummy worm. How fruit loops? I'm trying the Fruity Loops donut. You really taste the Fruit Loops. And paired with the donut, it's groundbreaking. <laughs> taste maple syrupy with the maple. And the bacon's not overpowering. So it's actually thumbs up. This, this is a concert with the Sniggly Wigglies. Here's a tribute, the Red Hot Chili Peckers. <laughs> Peckers, okay. Green, Green Dookie. Dookie. Green Day. Green Dookie. So Anthony Bourdain has been here, the Trailer Park Boys have been here. Um, it's kind of a famous place, and the Donaire is a very special thing for Nova Scotia, well, for Halifax. We're about to try it. Donaire, not donut, and it's, well, let's try one. Okay. Hey, any place that the Jackass crew comes to regularly and uh, the Trailer Park Boys, it's okay with me. So flying from Halifax to Montreal, we're late. And then from Montreal, we get another plane to New York City. Oh, we 